Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. It's a Huawei Honor i5 CPU Magic Book X14. Now, the problem with this laptop, let's check the customer email. The customer is a computer business. HP Honor uh, doesn't seem to be taking charge or power on. I've tried multiple chargers and uh, I've opened up the laptop, but no obvious uh, sign of liquid damage. So basically, the laptop is just dead. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Huawei is well known about uh, having charging port issues. So plug in the charger and the meter, it is coming on, but my meter is gone. Okay, okay. Let's try to figure it out with this one. Uh, you can't really see on the camera. So it's taking no current and has 5 volts. So basically the PD controller is dead. It's not like we have a faulty charging port. No. Good. I will say, let's open the laptop. And let's have a look inside. Maybe we can help the customer. More than that, we can help ourselves with a pizza. Mm? We can even hope to be like an easy pizza. I mean, it's Monday. Today it will be like 32 degrees. Proper hot here. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah. The board looks good. Indeed, I can't see liquid damage, but obviously someone open and check something here. Okay, you know what I want to check first? I want to check the coils, yeah, because the charging port looks like it's fine. 5 volts means the PD controller is not working. That can be that can be a faulty PD controller or a faulty EC chip. The PD controller has to speak with this EC chip. Yeah. So when I'm saying a faulty EC chip, it's not necessary to be faulty. It's like not having voltage. Not having voltage because the main power is not present. It's not present because it's shorted. Yeah. So the main power rail check here. Here we have some coils, most of them have capacitors, you can see. Electrolytic capacitors. Yeah. So checking the main power rail. 1.4 ohms. I mean, hopefully that's the plus. Yeah, so this is ground. This is plus. Hmm? <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it's like, okay. Yeah, it is an easy pizza. So if the main power is shorted, let's lower the voltage on the on the power supply. I can only hope to be a capacitor because if it's a MOSFET, then that's that's a problem. We need a thermal camera. Good. And let's try to figure it out what is wrong here. So it's 1.3 volts. My one like 0 0.8. Yeah. Plus here and it's taking 3 amps. Huh? 3 amps. I mean, I don't want to be funny, but it looks like something exactly that is faulty. You can see. Let's take out the heatsink because it looks like it's from behind. And the heatsink, it's out. And you can see here, we have some monolithic drivers, coils, yeah. So one more time. What is that? Wait one second, that doesn't look good. It's a monolithic driver which is shorted. Hmm. You have no idea how bad it is. I mean, kind of. I did found before monolithic drivers to be shorted, but actually protected the output. So in this case, the output is zero ohms. And that's the CPU power supply. Okay, having zero ohms, there is no issue. Maybe the zero ohms is because the chip is shorted 
on the high side MOSFET and the low side. Yeah. So I'll say let's take the chip out first and check for short after. I mean, this laptop should work without this chip. Yeah. We can take out the chip and the laptop should work fine. Four hundred eighty degrees. And the chip is out. A six nine four. Yeah, a classic one. So what about now? Now it's still short. Let's check. Main power rail. Is not shorted anymore and the coil 1.6 ohms you know what this is looking good and i will i'll tell you what is why it's looking good because the resistance it will goes up now is it's very low resistance because the cpu is hot and when the cpu is hot the resistance is going down but this is looking good and if i'm right yeah if i'm right we should be able to start the laptop right now uh, kind of like still hot plug in the battery plug in the charger let's see we have the charging light is taking two amps 20 volts no yeah yeah check that and the, the wattage is going up 1.9, no, 2.4 amps and 19.6 volts. So what do you think about that? Let's start the laptop. And the laptop is coming on. Check here, the backlight, the keyboard backlight. But then switched off. We are picture, that's crazy. I mean, those people, you know, they are putting components inside of the laptop to ask for more money when they are selling the laptop. The laptop is working fine without this component, huh? I seen on the past uh, comments, okay, sorry, but what about, you know, if we are benchmarking, if we are stressing the CPU, yeah, it will work fine, it will work fine. Because you have to understand they don't fit two power supplies because one cannot provide enough power. It is meant to provide enough power. Check here, we don't even have heat sink on the CPU and the laptop is working fine. Um, they put two power supplies to lower the stress on, you know, on a single power supply. So the laptop, it will work with only one power supply, but, you know, getting over the warranty time is, you know, kind of risky. Also, the chip, it will get hotter, the coil, it will get hotter. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason why they're using power supplies on the parallel mode on the CPU. And if you remove one power supply, the laptop, it will still work fine. Now we have to find the chip and replace it. Check here, yeah? Here also, it's, a, it's from factory, and this hasn't been fit from factory. So here is place for a coil, yeah? You can see there on the parallel mode coil chip so probably for a different kind of cpu this is i5 right for i7 they will fit this coil and that chip cool right yeah let me find this monolithic driver which you can see is very good we have videos with gaming laptops like dell like uh, um i don't remember dell uh, dell and asus if, if i remember so actually we found this chip shorted and uh, you know remove the chip laptop works actually i think i have this on my box yeah should be here on my box i'm pretty sure i have it here so check here yeah it's something like that something like this but this or something like this oh uh, what do you think about my box kind of magic right A694, yeah. 
So the ground is here. Good. A little bit of liquid rosin. Just a little bit, just a touch. Now let's solder the chip. And the monolithic driver is soldered. Yeah. Hmm? So what do you think? It was hard. And now you will say, because I know what you'll say, you'll say, yes, uh, sorry, and you replace the chip. We have no idea if that chip it will work or not. And that's that's right. Because the laptop was already working with only one chip. So how you how you will know if the chip you'll solder, I mean, yeah, okay, it's not shorted, but how you will know actually the chip it will work? Is sold properly and it will work. And the way to check something like that is with the thermal camera. Yeah. So if we are seeing, you know, same heat signature on the both chips, means the chip uh, is working properly. Because otherwise you cannot check, you know, based on the output. We are there on the parallel mode. So the battery is plugged, plug in the charger. It's still warm, but that's fine. Pressing the power button is coming on. And check that, you can see the heat on both? Yeah. Yeah, of course, the CPU doesn't have a heat sink. Uh, but you can see the heat. Okay, you know what? This is on it's on stages, yeah. So the first stage, when when, when the laptop starts, both starts, yeah. You see the same heat from both. Um, but now, because no one, not nothing is taking power, only one power supply is working. So basically, if I will try, yeah, to let's say restart the laptop, then you know the CPU will start working hard. Restarting. And on the restarting, check that, check that, check that, you can see the heat. Check that, both are coming on, then one is left on. Check that, check that, check that, you can see the chips, yeah. So you see one is working sometimes and one is working only. So you can see. Uh, yeah. Uh, this camera doesn't have like a high uh, dynamic range, so you cannot see it properly. But yeah, that's that's okay. That's fine. It is working fine. Our chip, it is working fine. So in order to save energy, the CPU it will use only one power supply, this one, and when he need more power, it will bring up this one. Anyway, all back in place, and the laptop is working fine, it's charging fine. You can see it's taking three amps, three amps, nineteen point seven volts. We fixed it. Huh? It's a nice, you know, Monday morning job. I'm um, I'm happy I help the people. I'm gonna stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store, or our Patreon page. Thank you.